This is Patrick Ho, Senior Artist on Planetside 2. Today I'll be showing you a concept for the NC4X Rifle Scope. I typically start off with a round or two thumbnail sketches to get a rough idea of what the scope should look like. In this instance, I'm also pulling in thumbnails from a sniper scope concept I did previously as a starting point. After several iterations, my art director and I decide the one we like and go with it. Traditionally, I would draft concepts like this by hand, but the use of 3D modeling and rendering have slowly found their way into my workflow. Here I'm using Maya to build a proxy model based on the thumbnail sketch we chose earlier. To save time, I bring a few sniper scope models I built previously and make use of their parts and pieces to help flesh out this design. You'll note that the NC rifle is popping in and out of the scene. It's there for reference so I know the scope will fit properly. This is also why creating a proxy model at this point can be very valuable. It lets me know whether my design is working or not not just from an aesthetic standpoint, but also from a functionality standpoint. For things like weapon attachments or armor attachment, it's very important to know that all of the individual parts and pieces will work together when assembled and function as intended. 3D really helps me to figure these things out early on and it allows me to make fixes immediately. This also takes the guesswork away from the artist executing the final in-game models. In the end, they are supplied with a very tight concept and a proxy model for reference. On a side note, for those in school thinking to get into concept art, games, or art in general, the use of 3D shouldn't be replaced for working knowledge of perspective. Knowledge of perspective helps me to visualize and understand 3D space and creating something out of nothing. After the proxy model is finished, I use Maya's mental ray to render out a few images of the model. They depict light and shadow information, as well as surface materials, like a brushed metal. I composite all of these images in Photoshop for a final detail pass. Rendering this image by hand can be very labor intensive, especially if you're going for realism. Making use of the rendering software helps to save time. For the final pass, I'll add some color and texture. Create additional shadows and highlights. Add some paint chips and wear. Add a few graphical elements. Then I compose the final image. And I'm done. This has been Patrick Ho for Sony Online Entertainment. Be sure to check out Planetside 2 at planetside2.com. Thanks for watching. Sony.